Maximus analysis here for November 3rd, 2015. We see we continue strength and we're looking to basically, they've surpassed this one mark that we talked about uh, regarding the move. And if you don't remember, this is a measured move of this previous uh, swing. And now we're going to test from this high and you see we're pretty much right there now. So again, I don't know if they're going to be selling into this um, because Yellen speaks tomorrow. So be aware that it could be choppiness now she's supposed to be starting at 10 a.m. so just be aware that if you're in anything and you see some craziness in regards to your spreads and everything it, it's a time that they can basically take the spreads run your stop and you look at the underlining and be like I shouldn't have gotten stopped out so just be careful if you're any anything going into that meeting but you can see the ES is still on a tear uh, you got the NQ uh, at 4700 and they're right at their measured move uh, point right now so again a pullback uh, could be something that um, would definitely uh, be healthy, but again, it looked like they've they made their historic run, and uh, we'll see how much more they got to go and what the retracement actually looks like. So again, this is a retracement from last October, and we can see that pretty much is it is it last October? Yep, last October, and we see where we are right now. So they've surpassed this, and now they're right here at the top so we'll look and continue to see how this one plays out again going into tomorrow's uh fed meeting and we got some uh gdp numbers weren't bad weren't were bad last week but again at the end of the day it doesn't really matter right now they're at the middle of <coughs> almost at eighteen thousand, which will give them again the measured move uh from the swing from last october and uh they're in the middle of the top so again they could blow past it or they're going to uh, give some type of retracement and see how deep of a retracement they're going to give. Now crude had a very good day today um, and we got tomorrow we got EAI report so again we'll see what happens again. I took the short from here I covered at this break above using USO puts and right now they're right up to 50 percent but you can see some really strong volume on this bar and this bar pretty much has a lot of juice as well. So they're right at the 50%. So if they break above here, uh, they could see potentially around this 53 area if they can continue to hold. Now, if they break down below, that's when we're going to start seeing new lows because we still don't want to negate the fact that we have, you know, these lower highs in place and these lows are getting lower as well so we're still in a funny type of pattern in regard to just going long here uh because we haven't had a lot uh, at least a dip down i mean you could say this is a little flag but you can see it's in the middle of the funk so <clears throat> today we had a really really strong move from apple continued uh, to move up and uh that's pretty much it. it just continue to move up and we're right at this resistance point that we said based on previous highs and previous lows and they got through it now if you're a Wyckoff type of guy, you could say, listen, this volume is really, really low, but um, to where they need to break. Basically, Wyckoff's uh, techniques is that basically if you have volume, you study the volume of these lows and it needs to break on top, break above that with more volume to be some type of uh, continuation or to see a full you know, break of support or resistance. But either way uh, we're above this 50% of the previous day range you're probably have around 77 or 80% of this move and they've made a really good move from these lows as well you had Google uh, <coughs> wasn't um, really doing much but it's grinding higher and uh, from this remember this is earnings and they've taken you know it's one bar they've gone one two three four five six seven days within this one bars uh, price movement. So again, that's not showing that much strength unless they can really push above that. Um, going into, but again, this would have to give me a lower high to get short. I'm not looking to get that. I think Tesla actually reports uh, today and it flushed into the close, but let's see what it's doing now. This is the one minute chart and this is the after hour mark. So again, this is earnings and earnings can be all over the place. So now they're, they've already gone from about a 26 or $28 range. So uh, we'll see where this hap where this goes in the morning versus uh, trying to figure out where it is now. It's just a little bit too bipolar for my taste. And uh, 28 is around here. So you can see that they've already gapped it up. But it's just where is it going to close or where it's going to open, excuse me, that's more important than where it is now. So let's just make sure I got this, this number right. Yeah, so they got up to 230. 
and 230 is that doesn't mean that it could be one it could be 199 tomorrow but again it, it closed into that but that's why I don't really try to hold over earnings you had the IWM again right at the 50 percent mark <coughs> excuse me and you can see that this is not showing a lot of strength but if it clears it and clears it with some type of momentum you still have a lot of impulse bars within this move you got one impulse bar two impulse bars three impulse bars four impulse bar five so again they're showing whenever they start to move they're really showing some type of strength so we'll continue to look at that you had linkedin pop up as well you can see that this is really uh <coughs> going back <coughs> excuse me sorry about that um it's really looking good uh, so far for, for people that went long. Uh, Baidu, again, kind of moving, uh, kind of looking like it just needs a pullback. But if it or if it holds these levels that we have right here, then it's just a pullback for more upside potential. Um, and Facebook, uh, we had that. I think some other names that were really moving for the day traders were VRX. You had uh, PRAA, excuse me, PRAA. You had um, a lot of movement on these day trading names, but again, I'll probably tweet more about those than anything. And you have uh, the dollar index is kind of just moving around and you have the bonds kind of, uh, they, they look like they're selling as well. So we'll see what happens again with Yellen's talk. And then we have a couple more things, but again, trade your chart, protect your profits, trade, you know, what's going on. You have fit fell out of bed, but still within as weird as it sounds, it's still within this this range. So now instead of doing this, you could just pretty much adjust and say we're right back in this triangle, but you can also say that it still has the higher lows in place. So we'll see what what happens and if they continue with this higher volume to continue to sell. So uh, take care and uh, watch us see what happens tomorrow.